location pages? So location pages, uh, one of the strategies we implement here for our clients uh, when it's when it's necessary. And what it is, is basically just answering the way people are searching. So people often search geographically. So they'll search for a plumber Gold Coast. They'll type that into the search engine. So what we're doing is we're answering that search query by creating a page for that query. Um, and even if they don't search with Gold Coast on the end, so even if they search just plumber, it's still going to show results based off where they are. If you have location services on your phone, it's going to show you results to where you are. Um, and for that reason, you need to create pages to answer that. Um, and, and we do that by separating topics by state, city, or even suburb. So if we keep um, on the topic of, of plumbing, city and suburb would be most relevant. So we'd be doing plumber Gold Coast, we'd be doing plumber Burley Heads, box toilet Burley Heads, um, so on and so forth. Now with the state one, it's a little bit different, but I think where that's, uh, we find that a lot of the time is when people are searching. Um, uh, so we manage a lot of lawyers. And so when people are searching laws, they'll often search uh, drink driving lawyer, drink driving laws, Queensland, or yeah. drink driving laws, New South Wales, because those laws change. So um, it's that's where the keyword research really comes into play, because you don't know these things unless you do the keyword research, the competitor analysis, and find out what people are searching. And then you're ultimately just uh, tweaking the site and building out pages to answer that. Think about all the suburbs in the Gold Coast. If there's a plumbing service in the Gold Coast, you can really get granular. You can target each service with the location on the end. But okay. that's where you can run into problems because if you have, let's say, 100 location pages, um, the content needs to be unique. We can't have 100 location pages or 100 service pages where the content is not unique. Uh, is not unique so it's just copy and pasted. You're going to run into problems. Um, and that sort of ties into that other point down the bottom there, which says no keyword stuffing. So um, no keyword stuffing. Don't just write a page that says plumber Gold Coast. If you need a plumber on the Gold Coast, we have plumbing services on the Gold Coast. <laughs> we want to make sure um, that the content reads well because ultimately it is for humans. Using DCM, we'll bring up the locations page and say with, uh, where are we? Uh, Burley Heads. Just talk through the anatomy of this page, mate. Cool. Yeah. So you can see there again, that H1 at the top answering the search query. So plumber burly heads, um, you've got a call to action on the right. And that's where you could customize that. So that mm -hmm. could end up being, do you need a plumber in burly heads? But I believe that's what we used for that H2. So that subheading, if you go a little bit further down, need a plumber in burly heads, again, answering their query. Um, a lot of content using keywords, um, always having call to actions, wherever they are on the site, they should be able to click a phone number. So you can see in the middle there, call DCM on double five seven six, so on. Um, so always having that, you can see the services getting pulled in there, general plumbing. Um, and then that's the map, the map there. So the embedded map is a good way, um, which we didn't touch on that in the slides, but it's an awesome way to, to signal to Google and to the user that that's what we're trying to rank for. So we're trying to rank for the keyword in that location. So you can see it's targeted on Burley Heads. Now, if you're on another location page, we'd be targeting whatever uh, location that is. And then we've just got some more content down the bottom here. You can never have enough content. Never have enough content. And some more services as well, um, dynamically feeding the services to really push them back through to the services yeah. um, for them to then bring up the client. More testimonials, supplies. Mm, some trust building at the bottom. And then yeah. also that, that Google review widget in the bottom left as well is a good trust building yeah. um, widget there. So it really just pushes that um, these guys are the authority.